All right. Welcome to another deep dive. Yeah. You know, something I've been thinking about lately is Super Mario, right? And right. how strong is he really? Yeah. Like, he's a video game hero, so obviously strong, but oh. is there more to it? Yeah. Yeah. So today we're going to dive into all these different power ups he uses and oh, how so, they work. OK. And, you know, what they can tell us about Super yeah. Mario as a character yeah. and the franchise overall. It's really interesting. You know, we think about Mario. His strength, yeah. it's not all about like yeah. his muscles or anything like that. Right. It's more about how he uses these power ups. Right. It's about strategy. Right. It's about adaptability. Exactly. Adaptability. Yeah. And I think a lot of heart, too. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Heart. So we know Mario from tons of games now. So many. But he wasn't always the powerhouse that we Long. know and love today. No, no. Like, how did he even go from jump man in Donkey Kong to this hero who can kind of do it all? Well, it all goes back to this, like, one power-up. Really, the mm. Super Mushroom. Okay. That was, like, the very beginning. Right. It gave him the ability to take an extra hit. Uh-huh. And it's something that has stuck with the franchise. Right. Ever since. Yeah, the Super Mushroom. It's, like, yeah. the definition of leveling up, right? Oh, absolutely. It's, like, the first step to yeah. all this right. greater strength and power. Yeah, it's the foundation. I, I bet you have a favorite power-up, though. Oh, do I ever? I mean, I'm partial to the cape feather. Oh, the cape feather. That glide is just he, I knew. so satisfying. Like, yeah. I could just glide forever. The cape feather is so interesting because it really does yeah. change the way you play the game. Mm. It's not just about, like, hitting things harder. Right. It's about moving in a whole different way. Yeah. And exploring. Right. And the spinning attack. Oh, yeah. So genius. But what about for, like, yeah. just sheer offensive power? Mm. I got to go with the fire flower that's a classic yeah you know that's when mario really went from right like just reacting to things oh yeah to taking charge absolutely and you know launching fireball taking charge i love that like a total boss yes it changes the whole yeah dynamic of the gameplay the way you interact with the entire world totally yeah that's what's so smart about all these power-ups yeah is that they really do mm -hmm. add so much strategy and depth right it's not just like yeah. you're just running through the level right you're actually the manipulator you're manipulating the world yeah yeah i'm curious though what about the superstar right oh, the superstar like that feeling of invincibility yeah and the speed it's just pure it's pure exhilaration <laughs> like it's, it's like this peak of power you know yeah you get a glimpse of mario's like right? full potential yeah and it makes you feel like yeah. you can break free from anything mm, interesting yeah what about like the tanuki suit Oh, the Tanuki suit. You know, you can fly. Uh huh. You can turn into a statue. Right. Like the ultimate. The ultimate multi tool. Multi tool, yeah. It is. It's almost unfair. Yeah. How versatile it is. Yeah. You know, like. That's a great example of how adaptive right. Mario can be. You yeah. Know? He's got all these different options. It's not yeah. just one strength. Uh huh. It's offense. Yeah. Defense. Right. Like he can do it all. And it encourages you as the player. To like, oh, absolutely, be more creative, yeah, and think outside the box, yeah. find different solutions, yeah. And let's not forget about like right, right. the mega mushroom, uh, mega mushroom, mushroom, mushroom. Mario just turns into this like right. giant. He's a giant stomping machine. Yeah. Talk about raw power. I mean, it really changes like right. the whole dynamic of yeah. the game of how you see the level. You know, right? Yeah, it's not just that Mario's bigger; it's how you see the mm. entire environment. Like, yeah, you're interacting with it on a whole other level. Yeah, totally different. Yeah. You know, and it's amazing how each power up mm. it doesn't just change how you play, right? But like how you think about yeah the game like yeah. there are all these layers of strategy oh absolutely it's like it's challenging you to be right smarter yeah. more creative totally that's why i think this franchise has lasted so long mm. it's because yeah. the power-ups aren't just like mm -hmm. a gimmick right they're really part of yeah, yeah. the core gameplay but i do think it's interesting yeah. how even with all these oh, amazing yeah. power-ups <laughs> the games still manage to be oh yeah challenging they are. you're never really like or overpowered yeah. you still need you need skill skill timing strategy That's exact all about balance right and yeah it, the power-ups give you an advantage uh -huh. but they don't make you invincible right you still got to navigate all like, the obstacles avoid the enemies exactly like yeah. the game is telling you yeah. okay here's this awesome power right now use it wisely yeah it's not just about 
beating the game. It's about yeah. mastering. Yeah, mastering it, yeah. And that sense of mastery, that's so satisfying. I think it's part of what makes Mario such a hmm. cultural icon. Okay. He represents more than just right. jumping on turtles. Yeah. You know, mm. he's a symbol of perseverance, right. adapting to challenges. Overcoming adversity. Exactly. And I totally see that. Like oh. his journey from just simple platforming uh. to these crazy feats of strength and skills. It resonates with people. It does. I think we all see ourselves in Mario, yeah. you know, trying to overcome our own obstacles yeah. and grow. And grow along the way. Yeah. And even those power-ups, I mean, they're kind of like metaphors for oh, yeah. our own potential, right? Yeah, really. like those things in our lives that help us right. level up yeah. and reach our goal. I love that. So it's not just about yeah. Mario saving Princess Peach. It's right. about like inspiring us to overcome our own challenges. Yeah. I love that. Find our own princess. Find your own princess. King, whatever that might be. Whatever that may be, yeah. You know, it really is amazing mm -hmm. to think about how big of an impact yeah. Mario has had. Mm -hmm. Like, he started as this plumber from Brooklyn. Right. And he's become, yeah. like, a global icon. A global icon. And, like, the symbol of gaming. It's really a testament to... Mm good game design right. compelling characters yeah. and of course those well, yeah. awesome power ups power ups yeah mario has just transcended yeah generations and cultures yeah and it makes you wonder what's that what if we could create our own power ups oh. like what kind of abilities would we oh. give to mario that's a fascinating thought right what if we could enhance his strength even further all right so next time okay we are going to be putting on our oh, all right game designer hats love it and we're going to be getting creative awesome we're going to be brainstorming our own power up all right, wait exploring all the possibilities okay you know pushing the boundaries of the mushroom kingdom sound good so stay tuned all right welcome back everyone so last time we were talking about all those classic Mario power up. Oh yeah, all the classics. You know, from the super mushroom oh, to the oh, cape feather. Yeah, the cape. And oh, yeah. we even talked about how uh, they changed the way we play the game. Totally. But now we're gonna take it a step further. Okay, I like it. We're gonna put on our yeah. game designer hats. All right. And we're gonna step into the mushroom kingdom ourselves. Okay, let's do it. And create our own power ups. I love this. So we're gonna be brainstorming, right. exploring all the possibilities. Yeah and really seeing how we can okay. enhance Mario's strength uh, right, so. even more. Hmm. But before we unleash our inner yeah. Shigeru Miyamoto, right. maybe we should yeah. set some ground rules. Okay, that's smart. You know, just to make sure we don't accidentally don't break the Mushroom Kingdom. Right, we don't want to do that. Right. What do you think? So I think a good power-up hmm. should really feel like it belongs mm -hmm. in Mario's world. Like Why? it shouldn't... Shouldn't clash. Yeah, clash with anything that's already there. Right, yeah. And of course, it needs to make Mario stronger. Right, stronger in a new way. Yeah, like in a unique way. Yeah, yeah. No rehashing old abilities. Why we need innovation. Yeah, we want something fresh. Right, something yeah. that adds like a new layer mm -hmm. to the gameplay right. of strategy. And, you know... It should be fun. Oh, absolutely. You know, like all Mario games are. You know, that would be fun. Yeah, they're all about like yeah. that sense of discovery and playfulness. Yeah, that like aha uh, moment yes. when you realize what you can do exactly. with this new power. Okay, so with all that in mind, it, what kind of power up are you thinking of? Well, I was kind of thinking of something that lets Mario, yeah. you know, tap into the environment. Okay. Like imagine a power up called like yeah. nature's fury nature's fury okay. where he can control guy. elements of his surroundings like what do you mean so picture this man mm -hmm. mario grabs like mm -hmm. a glowing acorn okay and suddenly yeah he can command the wind wow he can summon vines to like oh. swing across gaps okay he can even create little tremors wow that would change how you approach the whole level oh, yeah. like you could use the wind to push enemies yeah yeah or like create a path through exactly dense forest or something it would turn the environment into like <laughs> an extension of his own abilities right i can even picture it like you find this glowing acorn uh -huh. in like a secret grotto right and it's guarded by like yeah. a wise old koopa troopa oh i love it you know giving me some legend of zelda vibes oh yeah totally i think this would be 
awesome for boss battles. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, imagine creating shifting platforms. Right, or like... Or right. whirlwinds to, like, yeah. knock enemies off balance. That would be so cool. Right. What about you? Do you have any ideas? Okay, I've got one. All right. What about a power-up that, like, amplifies Mario's ground pound? We could call it, like, Echo Stomp. The Echo Stomp, I like that. Yeah, so it takes something that ah. he can already do. Right. But it makes it even more powerful. Yeah, add the whole new layer of yeah. strategy. So imagine Mario yeah. does his ground pound, mm -hmm. but it creates these shock waves so... that ripple through the level. Oh, wow. You know, you could use it to okay. activate switches from afar. Right. Stun enemies on different platforms. Yeah. Even like break through certain blocks. Oh, I could even imagine like yeah, the yeah. visual effects. Oh yeah, for sure. Like these radiating rings of yeah. energy. Yeah, and like the screen shakes. Yeah, the screen shakes, the enemies go flying. You know, and it could add a whole new right. dimension to like puzzle solving. Oh, for sure. You know, like timing your ground pounds right. to create chain reactions. To open new pathways. Or reveal secrets. Oh, that's cool. And yeah. like, we could even have different levels. Oh, okay. You know, like a super echo stomp? Oh, yeah. That does even more damage. That creates a bigger shock wave. Right. Yeah. Like, imagine clearing a whole screen of enemies right. with one... With just one ground pound. Yeah, one ground pound. That would be awesome. That would be pretty powerful, though. Yeah, we'd want to make sure it's not too overpowered. Right, so maybe there's, yeah. like, a cooldown timer. Right. Or but, like... Where you can only use it yeah. a certain number of times. So it's strategic. Right. It's not just a win button. Exactly. Yeah, I like that. So we've got the Nature's Fury. Oh, my We've God. got the Echo Stump. Yeah. This is fun. I'm having a good time. But I have one more idea. Okay, let's hear it. Okay, so picture this. All right. It's called the Chrono Shell. Chrono Shell. Okay. And it's a Koopa Shell. Uh-huh. But when Mario throws it... Yeah. Instead of... Like bouncing off walls. Right. It yeah. creates a time loop. Whoa, a time loop. Like a localized time loop. Okay, explain that. Okay, so imagine you throw the shell. Uh -huh. It hits a certain area. Right. And anything in that area yeah. is stuck in a short time loop. So like a localized time rewind. Kind of. Like yeah. you can use it to oh, okay. manipulate events. Okay. You know, solve puzzles. That's interesting. Like imagine you need to freeze an enemy. Okay. Or you need to redo a tricky jump. Right, right. You know, or you need to trigger events in a specific order. Yeah, you can mess with the timing. Exactly. Okay, I like it. And that. think about like the yeah. visuals. You could have this like shimmering holographic effect. Okay. And everything is moving in this like jerky. Oh, uh huh repetitive motion it'd be like a pocket dimension yeah where time and space are like yeah. suspended this is really cool <laughs> i know so it would make you really think about how you use it it would definitely be a challenge yeah like strategically but i think players would yes. really love it i can already see like yeah the speed runners like going crazy with this yeah they figure out all kinds of crazy tricks right. with that time loop so it's amazing how like hmm one little power up yeah. can create wow. so many possibilities. It really shows you like yeah. the creative potential yeah. of, of this whole universe. Maybe these are just our ideas. Yeah. You know, I'm sure listeners are already thinking of oh, I bet. even more. They've got great ideas. So we've got yeah. the Nature's Fury, um, the Echo Stomp, yeah. and the Chrono Shell. Chrono Shell. We've taken all these classic Mario mechanics yeah. and we've like... We've twisted them? Yeah, we've twisted them. We've bent them. Yeah. We've stretched them. Stretched them. Into all these new possibilities. Yeah. Exactly. We've been talking about like the what ifs, yeah. you know, like <laughs> Mario's strength yeah. and all these fantastical abilities. Right. But there's another layer to this. Okay. You know, like yeah. what can we learn yeah. from Mario's strength okay. about our own lives? That's a great point. So in the last part of this deep dive, right. we're going to step outside okay. the Mushroom Kingdom. I like it. And explore those real world lessons yeah. that we can learn from this yeah. iconic plumber. Sounds good. Welcome back, everybody. So we've talked about, you know, all these amazing power-ups. Yeah, all the possibilities. And, you know, we even designed a few of our own. We did. It was fun. But now yeah. it's time to kind of okay. step outside the Mushroom Kingdom. All right. And think oh, about yeah. what we can learn from Mario's strength. Okay. I like that. In the real world. Yeah. You know, it's easy to get caught up in... 
all the like yeah. fantastical stuff. His crazy abilities. Yeah, like yeah. jumping really high and oh, yeah. throwing fireballs. Yeah, but what's really interesting is like yeah. what his journey represents. Oh yeah. Or, on a deeper level. It's more than just like right. saving Princess Peach yeah. or yeah. like jumping on Goombas. It's about resilience. Ah, it's about perseverance. Yes, perseverance. He's a never give up attitude. Exactly. No matter what. Yeah. He always gets back up. Yeah, like even when he falls down or, a pit or or gets hit by a Koopa. Right. Or gets hit by a Koopa. He's yeah. like, all right, I'm getting back up. Yeah. Dusts himself off. Yeah. And keeps going. That's a powerful message. It is, especially yeah. in the world today, uh -huh. where it's so easy to like yeah. feel overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. Yeah. By all the challenges. And you know what it makes me think of? Okay. Those power-ups we were talking about. You yeah. know? They're not just cool abilities. Uh -huh. They're kind of like symbols of, like, mm. the strengths we all wow. have inside us. We have our own super mushrooms. Yeah, exactly. Like, and cape feathers. It's just about finding them. Yeah, we just got to discover them. And, you know, just like Mario uses those power-ups right. strategically, mm -hmm. we need to do the same. Yeah, we got to be mindful yeah. of how we use our own strengths. Exactly. Sometimes it's yeah. like a supportive friend right. or like a new skill you learn yeah. that gives you that extra boost. That confidence. Yeah, that confidence. You know, I think that's why mm -hmm. Mario connects with so many people yeah. because he like yeah. embodies that experience right. facing challenges. Yeah, and overcoming them. And finding the strength to overcome them. Yeah, it's not about avoiding the challenges. Right. It's about using them. Yeah, using them as opportunities. Right, as opportunities for growth. For growth. And who knows, maybe those challenges yeah. will lead you to your princess. Your own princess. You know, what's that? Whatever that may be. A dream you've been putting off. Right, or like yeah. a relationship that needs work. Yeah, or even just a maybe. better version of yourself. Yes, exactly. It's a good point. Like, yeah. what's so great about mm -hmm. Mario's story mm -hmm. is that it's not just about right. the destination. It's right. about, like... The whole journey. The whole journey, exactly. The friendships, all the these. obstacles. The lessons you learn. Yeah, all of it. Yeah, it's all part of it. And that's a message I think we can all take with us. Yeah. Like, embrace those challenges, you know, celebrate those victories. And never stop believing. And never stop believing. In your ability. With your ability to level up. Yeah, both in the game yeah. and in life. In the game and in life, yeah. So next time you're feeling... Mm. A little discouraged. Yeah. Or you're facing a tough task. Right. Remember Super Mario? Remember Mario? Remember his determination. His strategic use of power-ups. Yeah, and his ability to, like, yeah. have fun. Find joy in the face of adversity. Exactly. You know, just like Mario always finds a way right. to save the day. Yeah. We all have the power right. to overcome our challenges. And create our own yeah. happy ending. Create our own happy endings. I love that. So... That's the end of our deep dive. Yeah, this has been awesome. Into the strength of Super Mario. But we want to hear from you. Oh, yeah. You know, what are some of the power-ups yeah. that you've discovered in your own life? What helps you? Yeah, like... Level up. What helps you level up? Yeah. What helps you reach your goals? Head over to our social media. Yeah. Let us know. Share your stories. Share your insights. Yeah, and share your ideas for power-ups. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we want to hear uh -huh. those power-up ideas. We'd love to hear those. All right, until next time. Okay. Keep on leveling up. And remember, yeah, there's always a power up out there. Always a power up waiting to be discovered. Exactly. Game over.